hello guys and welcome back to my channel in this tutorial i'm going to be teaching you about whatsapp modes and how to configure it to personalize the settings to suit your taste so what are whatsapp modes whatsapp modes are modified versions of whatsapp the whatsapp messenger and it includes the fm whatsapp aero whatsapp gb whatsapp yo whatsapp and I think there are two other variations and uh, each of these WhatsApp modes I think they were, they were developed by the same developer so they have similar functions of course they have similar functions similar settings but it's just with a little tweak a little difference but same functionalities so today I'm going to be teaching you how to customize these WhatsApp modes of course you can download it I'll leave a link in the description for you to download the different versions of the whatsapp modes i'm not going to be talking about the features of the whatsapp mode today i'm going to teach you how to personalize it how to change the theme of course uh, you, there's no one that can use a particular wallpaper you can't use the, you, you don't want to use a particular wallpaper on your phone for two years if you're like me i change my my wallpaper every two weeks sometimes every three weeks because i don't want the phone to get boring and i'll get tired of it so that's the advantage of whatsapp modes you can team it you can tweak the settings to see the taste better so in this tutorial i'm going to teach you how to change your boorish whatsapp like this this is whatsapp business so I'm going to teach you how to change your boring WhatsApp from this look to something like this and even more. So without further delays, let's get started. As you can see, uh, something just popped up, Esther Online, MTMN Online. This is also a feature of WhatsApp. Like I said, I'm not going to be teaching you all this. I might just touch it a little bit, but I'm not going to go into details into the different functionalities of the WhatsApp mode. So uh, I'm just going to teach you how to personal, how to change the color, how to change the ticks, how to change the settings um in the whatsapp modes and you should know that i'm using a particular one which is the fm whatsapp the settings that i'm going to be teaching you today you can apply it to gb whatsapp to aero whatsapp to your whatsapp so it's similar although the menu the settings are not the same but they are very similar so if you can understand this one you won't have any problem customizing or tweaking the other modes as well so without further delays let's get started of course you have to go to options FM mode. So first of all, I'm going to reset it. Let's go to Teams, Reset Preferences. So when you download the FM WhatsApp, you install, you sign in. This is what it looks like, of course, without this popping up. So this is what it will look like your normal default WhatsApp settings. So let's get customizing. Go to Options. You can see the menu right here these are different functionality that you don't have in your, your your default whatsapp that you download from the place of all like i said earlier i'm not going to be talking about the features i'm going to be talking about how to customize it the whatsapp most come with thousands no, no 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 not thousands maybe that's a bit of an exaggeration of course but it comes with so many features so many packed features that i won't find in your native whatsapp but we're not going to be diving into all that so let's just get customizing there's a particular dedicated menu that says fm is the very first option here so you just tap on it and these are the settings so here is just to go to google play store and download your native whatsapp let's go back privacy and security this is where you set like the first menu here privacy freeze the last thing if you freeze the last thing no no when you last came online anti view once there are some messages that when um with, with native whatsapp anyway there's some messages and some pictures that uh, people will send to you and you only be able to view the message once like a picture i can send you a picture now and then i'll activate view once you won't be able to get picture a second time for privacy reasons but if you activate this feature like as you can see right now it's activated i can deactivate it and i can activate it so with it activated if you were to send a particular message or picture to me and you want me to view it only once with this feature activated i can view it one million times so that's one of the advantages of using the whatsapp mode and then disable forwarded forwarded messages if you don't want it to be categorized as forwarded you can activate it or deactivate it who can call me this uh this is available in native whatsapp hide view status if you don't want someone to know that you viewed your status probably you're having a fight with a boyfriend with a best friend you don't want them to you just want to be picking and shaking in on them without them knowing you can activate it like right now it's already activated you can deactivate it let's say it's activated and to delete status so when someone sometimes you you upload things to your status 
and there are maybe a mistake somewhere and you know there are no edit features in whatsapp so you have to delete it and you have to re-upload another one or sometimes you upload something and then you don't feel like sharing it anymore then you take it down but with this feature activated even if you de- if your friends delete something delete something from their, their status you will still see it as you can see it's already activated you can deactivate it you can activate it and to delete messages messages will be deleted for you as it says the other people cannot delete messages for you it's written at the bottom there and then show blue text after reply so you can read someone's message right now it's activated you can deactivate it let's leave it activated you can read someone's message the person will know that you've read it so the message will still be linked as on read until you actually send the person a reply a response so the other settings are the things that you'll find your regular whatsapp so i guess we are done with this let's go back fm themes now this this is the part that i love most about the whatsapp most i just love this section this is where you get to personalize the whatsapp this is where you make it your own this is where you have the freedom to customize it whichever way you want so the first option here download your teams these are teams that the developers have already designed so these are predefined teams are some are also submitted by users so you can just come here it's kind of like the team store and they're all free you just go ahead and look for a particular team that you want you can preview it by tapping on either of the pictures there are two pictures here for preview so you can tap on either of them and then once you see a particular one that you like you click on the install that is right next to it let's try um, let's try this yes let's try this particular one so I'm going to click on install okay and as you can see this doesn't look great no 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 this doesn't look great at all I do not like this I do not like this at all. So we're going to have to go back and change it. FM modes. I don't like that at all. No, 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 no. Thank you. Let's look for something else. How about... I don't want to want UI interface. How about... Um, let's just keep searching, searching, searching. How about um, this one? Yeah, I like this one. Let's try it. Yes, this is fine. This is cyan. I love cyan. It's one of my favorite colors. So this is cyan. And um, yeah, this is cyan. Let's get customizing this. Let's go to the FM modes, FM teams. Now, the first option is download your teams. That's where you, you download teams from the, the team store. And then if you have, like, if I customize the particular thing now, like I said earlier, you're downloading a team that has already been preset. But you can, of course, customize even the downloaded team. You can customize it to your taste. So after customizing it, you can save it to your local storage and you can send it to friends. Probably, uh, maybe we are both using FM WhatsApp, but then I saw your team and I'm like, oh my god, I love your team. Can you do this for me? Now, instead of you having to go through the whole process of setting up everything on my phone, you can just save your customized team to your local storage and send it to me as a file and then I'll easily apply it to my own WhatsApp very very easily so you just click on the load theme and then you look for where the file is currently stored it can be in any of the folder Bluetooth WhatsApp telegram wherever it is so you just choose it and you just tap on it and then it gets activated the safe theme is for a customized to say I have already customized my thing I want to save it so I can send it to others I just click on the save team give it a name and then it's saved restore FM team this is what we did earlier before starting the tutorial I want to reset the team settings to the default state you click on that and um, the delete all save if you want to delete all the teams that you save to your local storage you just click on that I wouldn't recommend that anyway because you lose all the files that you saved earlier so let's go to another Let's go to universal. This is another personalization option. If you click on the colors, you see that there are several cyan here. Universal color is the color in the whole app. So wherever you see cyan, that is, we are talking about universal color right there. Let's go back. Then let's see. You see cyan at the status bar, the menu, the send. Um, over here, you also see cyan. So that's the primary color. So if you want to modify it, 
you just click on it then you change you can use gradient you can use solid colors so you can just pick any color from here if you pick this now and go back uh, we can copy the color codes and apply it to the other state as well let's go for the x copy it copy and then let's go back we also need to apply it to the status bar hex and paste it right here excellent new color so let's go back and see how our whatsapp looks now you see this that's how easy it is for you to customize the coloring so we are not done yet let's go back universal colors uh, universal action bar text color so this you just tweak this you just apply change the color go back to the main screen go back to your composition screen you share what the change is like the background is so for your shot background you can use a personal picture you can use gradients you can use single color status bar navigation bar and then you can also go to styles look at the field you the emoji there are different variants of the emoji you can use either of these ones and you can download more there are several other options here you can change your fonts this is where you change your font style and uh, the launcher icon the launcher icon is this icon right here that says fm whatsapp so this is the launcher icon let's go ahead and change it so you understand what i'm talking about right now it's green right so let's change it to this let's change it to um how about this let's change to this arsenal logo new icon apply let's go back now this is it right here you see if it was up it has been changed it's the last app right here so if you tap on it see has been changed so you can personalize you can personalize it that much uh, i think i like it that way i'm just going to leave it like that i'll leave it like that yeah i'll leave it like that so let's continue with our customization let's go to settings and um, okay there's not much to do here there's not much to do here there's not much to do here let's go back and um this is from the universal to the home screen the header you can see this is the header right here this way you get to customize a whole lot of other options the home style home ui style these are different style you can use ios you see navigation is at the bottom you can change it to bubble style where you tap it and then it's fluid like and then there's basic tab style uh, this is one of my favorites and then the story style that's if you enable instagram like stories that's where the second option will be available so let's enable it and then you'll be able to change it let's just disable that and uh, if you want to separate if you look at the bottom you see camera shots groups status calls you see that so if you don't want to separate the groups from the shots deactivate this you see the group the group tab has been eliminated activate it again and it's back it's best to leave it activated so that as especially if you are in several whatsapp groups you don't want it clogging up with your normal whatsapp chats so it's best to separate your groups from your normal conversation and if you look at the top you see fm whatsapp if you don't want to display the fm whatsapp if you want your name to display there or if you want something else to display there you click on this and then you can customize it you see Pixel, that's my name so you see it right there with uh, uh, alongside my bio my short bio so let's deactivate that i don't like that option uh, you can disable status under your name but you can only do that if you set the whatsapp to your name you see disable status is no longer available you don't have this option if set my name is deactivated all right so uh, after the FM WhatsApp, you see an airplane right there. That's the airplane mode. If you don't want it to show, if you don't want the place cluttered up, deactivate it. It's gone. And uh, okay, that's light mode. Deactivate airplane mode. You see, those are all gone. And then these are the colors. The tab background color. You can customize the color, either solid color or 
ingredient let's use it to green you see it has changed to green so that's how easy it is and the other colors or red messy selected tab on the line color like when you click on something the highlight color you can change it you just keep tweaking it and see how it reflects it will always, always show here once you make changes you always see the results before leaving the page so we've done that let's head back from the header let's go to the rows um, you can easily see, as you can see, there are different colors right here. You can customize it gradually one after the other. Customize your your message, your red message, the number of messages that are read, the number of messages that have been sent. You can customize it every. You can customize everything from here. And um, let's go back to floating action button. I always leave this hidden hide floating action button because it just make the screen all lit hard and it's not very organized so always activate this always activate this you don't have to customize everything here always hide it and um let's go to status you can change your status bar the menu on scene status text everything five minutes status status you can extend it to five minutes uh, instead of the 30 seconds that comes with your regular native whatsapp so let's get to where I actually want to know. This is a very interesting part. Viewed story toast. Viewed story toast. I so much love this picture because this um feature because um this viewed story toast, what is actually about is um when you upload a status and someone views the status, you get a notification a notification that someone just viewed your story. You see the person's name, um um friend a video status friend b video status you get notified and you can even set a custom notification tone um i think same goes with when someone comes online that's the ringtone contact toast when someone comes online you get notification of somebody's online friend a is online friend b is online friend c is online so you can choose the position of the notification you can put it at the top at the bottom and at the center what I actually want to show you is the conversation screen. I have been looking forward to wanting to show this. So let's go to the action bar. The action bar is the one at the top that displays the person's name. If you want to call the person, if you want to call the person on a video call or a voice call, and of course you can hide the person's profile picture, hide the person's name, hide the call options. There are several functions here for you to customize, but that's not the most interesting thing. Bubbles and ticks. This is my favorite part of it all. I so much love. Not a lot of people know about this feature in modern WhatsApp, but I'm going to teach it to you today. The first one here is the tick star. So when you send someone a message, when you send someone a message, when the person has read the message, and when the person has replied, and when the person is typing, this is that's the tick star. You see, there are different options here. You see, the default one is just too good that changes color, but you can you have up to 15 if not more here so there are different okay just take a look at this take a look at this you see how it is and there are two marks right let's change it to allo you see that let's change it to another one you see that change it to this you see that to this to this you see how beautiful and how personalized it can be uh, one of my favorite minions i love it i use it all the time minions i just love that one so much and then on uh, this also the bubble style which is kind of like the box where the messages actually are so you click on the bubble style you can change it this one my favorite wa plus people redesigned i just love it you take a look at the edge you see the designs right there bubble drop there are different uh, customization options here and then of course if you're someone like me that love using small fonts you can customize the font size here i love using the smaller sizes it just makes it so beautiful so it can also accommodate more messages you don't have to get to scroll over everything but if you're someone with um that uses glasses of course it's best to set it to the maximum to make things and the text more accessible and readable for you or you can set it to average of course and then there's a conversation background color you can change it using solid colors or gradient colors there are several other customization options that are quite simple you just tap on it and change the coloring and you're good to go and then the next one is our conversation entry style you can change it 
the conversation entry style is uh, where you have type your message here you have your emoji icon and you have your send icon so you just tap on one to um, unlike the other customization options you can't really see what it looks like there's no preview option for this customization so when you select a new one you will have to go back to the main screen to see what it looks like and if you don't like it you just come back here and then you make changes select another option and so on and so forth it's that simple let's go back um i think there are more options here confirm before sending the sticker sometimes you don't you you want to send a particular sticker to a person but before you know it your hand just touches another sticker inadvertently you don't want that happening imagine sending an embarrassing sticker to someone that you're not so close to and then you have to go ahead and explain things now to prevent all that you can activate confirm before sending the sticker with that activated you you have to confirm if you really want to send a particular sticker to that particular person and then there's another option new attachment ui picker it's just the same thing when you want to send attachment a pdf file a video file a word document it's just it just makes it's kind of like a, a modern file browser so instead of using the native file browser you use the fm whatsapp model file manager um i think those are the most interesting aspects or personalization options for the fm whatsapp um there are more uh, tutorials on the features like i told you this is not a tutorial on the features this is just on the customization options of the fm whatsapp and like i also said these settings also apply to gb whatsapp Arrow WhatsApp and your WhatsApp. You may not find it. You may find instead of the privacy and security that's in the first option here, you may find FM things first, or you may find updates first, or you may find home screen first. But it's it, you just have to know that if you understand the settings for one particular WhatsApp mode, you should also be able to customize every other WhatsApp mode. So that's it for this tutorial. If you have any questions, if there's anything that you don't understand in this tutorial, all you just have to do is just leave a comment below and i'll be sure to answer um, as soon as possible so if you're new to this channel please leave a like subscribe share the video with friends and until i see you next time bye